We have more details now on a story we told you about last night. An elderly man in Burnaby, B.C. was rescued from his own house after being trapped under stacks of his belongings. Police say the situation might very well have ended in tragedy. And as Chris Brown reports, it's just one case where hoarding has become a crisis. When Burnaby firefighters Alan McLeod and Dave Younger got the call Monday night, they were told a 73-year-old man was missing. When they arrived at his house, the yard was impassable, totally filled with junk. Inside, it was even worse. Extremely bad case for hoarding, piled right to the ceiling and not even capable of going into each room other than maybe climbing through a hole a foot wide at the top of each door jam. Eventually, they found the man, dehydrated, semi-conscious and covered in clutter. He'd been trapped for three days. He was confused and stuff and he had a bunch of debris piled on top of him. It took the rescuers three more hours to extract him from the house. And we're talking boxes piled to the ceiling eight feet high, so we were creating a three foot wide channel through that we're still walking on stuff, you know, up to my shoulders, probably high. Turns out the city of Burnaby had 10 complaints against the property. And in 2006, the man appeared before city council complaining about the unnecessary stress those complaints were causing him and telling council everything in his home was arranged for his best personal health and safety. Hoarding is now such a problem in Vancouver, the city has struck a task force to deal with it. Over the past year, firefighters and mental health professionals have been called out an astounding 190 times. Yeah, it's, it's more than we thought we'd have. Uh, and I think everybody's shocked how many uh, hoarding cases have been reported. Indeed, cleaning up after hoarders has become big business for Kevin Lee. There's a hoarding um, apartment where the woman hoarded raw meat in her apartment basically so that was quite disgusting the the smell was quite rank now he helps convince hoarders to part with their stuff as you can see this is the after and make their homes livable again it's delicate work he says and it's something that has to be understood and treated with compassion we need um, sometimes child protection involved we need health authorities involved we need mental health services involved and we're just not equipped as a society to treat this well the man from the house is now listed in fair condition, though firefighters say his feet were in such bad shape he could lose one of them. Right near the end there, he was looking at the pile that we had disturbed and he said, uh, it's going to take me a year to get this place back, back in shape. Oblivious and unable to comprehend the danger his hoarded home had put him in. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.